What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman here for Stochastic.com. Back again with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Game 4 of the NBA Finals. It's the Miami Heat and the Denver Nuggets. Now be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. And the big one, sign up at Stochastic. It's that easy. Promo code is SCORE. You see it on the banner at the top of the screen. Click the link in the description if you want to make it easier. 50% off your first week. So if you're just interested in NBA, I mean, we're running low on content at this point, not a lot of NBA games left, you can just get a week of our NBA packages. Or you can do it for just baseball or hockey, which is also at the end of its rope, sort of like the NBA. You can get an individual package if you want, or you can get 50% off your first week of our Platinum package. That covers every single sport, projections, ownership, boom, bust, top pitchers and stacks and hitters and all of that good stuff. Everything we got behind the paywall on the DFS side, you can get it using the promo code SCORE. Now, we are going to round out the bottom of my top 10 with Gabe Vincent, Caleb Martin, Bam Adebayo, Jamal Murray, and Bruce Brown on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five is going to be Michael Porter Jr. I know nobody's going to like this. He is 9,500, projected for 25. 19% chance at the pro, 19% chance at utility. Minutes have been down. Did not play in the fourth quarter in game three. Things have not been going well for Michael Porter Jr. I think today might be the rebound spot for that because at some point in time, the shot is just going to fall. He is an actual really good shooter. One of these days, he's just going to come out there and those first couple threes go in and it's going to change his entire scope. I think it starts today. He's only a 0.8 fantasy point per minute guy in this series. 12 and a half points, seven boards, an assist and a stock. I went 31 minutes. I might be too aggressive here, but at 9,500, it's a price tag I want to attack. And I also see the path we're getting him in at the pro spot and getting the multiplier is there. We got to remember the underlying talent exists for Michael Porter Jr. I think he just needs a confidence boost. And number four, I'm going to Kyle Lowry. We need some value, 8,500, 6% chance at the pro, 36% at utility, 0.85 fantasy points per minute. I went 25 minutes, 18% usage, nine points, four assists, three boards, and a stock. If you're trying to go to Nikola Jokic, who's incredibly expensive, and Jimmy Butler, who's just like your standard issue expensive, you need to save salary somewhere. Whether that's Kyle Lowry, whether that's Michael Porter Jr., Bruce Brown, Caleb Martin, you see these names on the screen. You need to find value somewhere. $8,500 Lowry with their backs up against the wall? This feels like a game where you would want a little bit more Kyle Lowry. My preferred value play for today is going to be KCP. 8K, projected for 21 41% chance at the utility, plus another seven at the pro. I think he's the best pay down option. Minutes seem pretty sturdy. I went 34. He's a 0.6 fantasy point per minute guy. That's not very good. Nine points, three boards, two assists, two stocks. It's a playing time thing. He's going to start. He's going to be out there for four real rotations. And if you're trying to spend down, I don't think there's a more reliable way to find those minutes than to get to KCP at 8K. Not much left to say for these final two plays. Jimmy Butler in at number two. He's 18% more optimal than KCP, and nobody's going to be surprised here. 14500 is a really nice price for Butler. Projected for 52.5, 21% chance at MVP, 42% at star, 3% at pro. You're not playing him anywhere else. I went 42 minutes, 30 points, 7 boards, 5 assists, 2.5 stocks. If the Heat want to continue in this series, they've got to win game four. If they're going to win game four, it's going to come on the back of Jimmy Butler. 66% odds of being in the optimal lineup. Very clearly the number two option. Just a hair behind Jokic. And uh, Jokic is just on a different planet. But his price is also on a different planet. 18,500 for Nikola Jokic. 78% optimal. Projected for 66 65% chance to be your optimal MVP, 13% at the star. You're not going to the pro. You need the multiplier at that price tag. That's why you get KCP and Kyle Lowry and those value plays. Because when you want to go to Jokic, you need to save somewhere. 31 points, 15 boards, 10 assists, and two stocks. Just an outlandish stat line coming off of the double-double. You expect it again Everything is Jokic on FanDuel. Don't overthink it. 80% of the time, he's going to be in the optimal. One out of every five games, he's not going to make it because of his price tag, for sure. But for today, there's no one better than Nikola Jokic. 
Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Friday, June 9th, Game 4 of the NBA Finals. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We're back again Monday morning for another edition of the NBA Contenders. We also have MLB Contenders, so make sure you're not missing that.